Let's graph this trig equation, or this, sorry, quadratic equation. All right, so first of all, I'm going to find the vertex. Remember, the vertex is negative b over 2a. That's your x-coordinate. And then we'll find our y-coordinate in a second. So let's do negative b, which is 16, over 2a, which is 4. 16 over 4 just equals 4. So my vertex is 4, comma. So it's right here. And then the y-coordinate, I find the y-coordinate by plugging 4 into both of those equations. So let's find the y-coordinate. y of the vertex equals 2 times 4 squared minus 16 times 4 plus 33. So that equals 2 times 16 minus 4 times 16 plus 33. Well, if I have two 16s minus 4 16s, I really just have negative 2 16s. Well, I never writing the words. Plus 33. <laughs> This equals negative 32 plus 33, so nice, it's just 1. 1 is my y-coordinate of my vertex. So 4 comma 1 is my vertex. There's my vertex right there. And now I'm going to show you the nice little trick that I like to use to find the next points. And we can verify them by putting a t-chart in later. But the I'm squaring, or I'm, I'm doubling every y-value that I go up. So if I go over 1 from here, I'm going to go over 1, and I'm going to go up instead of 1, because 1 squared is 1, I'm going to go up 2. So there's my point right there. My point would be 5, comma, I went up 2 from there, so 5, comma, 3. Now if I go up, if I go over 2, oh, and by the way, it would also be symmetrically on that side. Go to the left 1, go up 3. If I go to the over 2, I'm going to go up, normally I would go up 4 because I'm squaring it, I'm squaring the x, but I'm actually going to go up 4 times 2, I'm going to go up another 4, I'm going to go up 8 right there. So my point would be, now I'm at 6 on the x coordinate, and I've gone up 8 from 1, so I'm at 9. And also, if I went left 2 from here, so if I was at positive 2, I would be up nine as well. So two comma nine, etc. And so let's see if those values work by plugging them into a T chart. So your T chart, remember you'd have your X and your Y. And if I plug in my vertex, I like to put this in the middle. My vertex is four comma one. And so let's go let's go back one to three and let's go up one to five. Let's go back two to two and forward two to six. So let's use those values. Remember, that's my vertex. And let's check them by, again, plugging in these values. So I'm just going to go ahead and use it right here. If I plug in 3, for instance, for x, well, remember what I should get? I should get 3, comma 3. I should get 3 back because that's the point that I found using that other method that I use. So let's see if we get that. So 3 squared is 9 times 2 is 18. 16 times 3 is 32, 48 plus 33. So this is 18 minus 48 plus 33. This is negative 30 plus 33. Hey, how about that? That's 3. So it checked out. If I were to plug in, instead of that, if I were to plug in 5, 5 squared is 25. 5 times 16 is half of 160 is 80 plus 33. 25 times 2 is 50. I know you might not be able to see it. 50 minus 80 is negative 30, and that's also 3. So sure enough, that worked. I could do the same thing for 6 and for 2, but trust me, those are going to work as well. So that's how you graph that, ver that uh, quad or quadratic equation, which is a parabola, and the quick way and the way to check it as well.